Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome back everybody. Definitely not definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And this is Until Dawn. This is part three of our gameplay. And a uh, shout out to Brody. Hi Brody. I didn't get to type it to you while we were waiting there just because I had put the keyboard away and then got disconnected from it. So I uh, wanted to make sure I said hi to you. And yes, we were late. We're late because I had to save my dog from falling backwards off the couch. <laughs> She was trying multiple guess, times. And every minute of uh, being late adds another 10 minutes <laughs> of streaming. Okay. I'm done with that. All right. That's fair. Hey, Blue's here. Ooh, a coding binge in front of you. All right. Happy coding, Brian. Ooh, nice. Blue, what's going on? John, hello. Ghost. Just a gamer. Oh, uh, DMC5 Part 2 is out. It's on our playlist. Uh, I got to make that public, but it is available. Um, to watch. It was a little laggy. Um, hopefully you've gotten that fixed. I played with the settings, did some more research, and uh, hoping that the stream settings are going to be going to be better. Like, it's just when they, like, the, so those fast action-paced games, that's something that was not syncing up with uh, the settings that we had. So hopefully that's going to be fixed. I saw Darth Vader's here. Um, we got Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Professor T was here, I saw. Christopher. Captain Scoobies, nice. Welcome back. Um, evil hag with the with the skull, very like on tone. <laughs> I love it. Getty, what's going on? Hey, Getty's here. Derpy muffins. <laughs> okay. Fun name. Yeah. Ooh, Darth Vader's playing Resident Evil Six Ooh, today. Ooh, scary. What's up, Adolfo? So, uh, who's your favorite character so far? Um, Sam. Yeah, it's probably Sam. I mean, yeah. yeah. Michael's, just, or Mike, Mike, Michael, uh, he's growing on me. Really? I Just in the, like, I had zero expectations <laughs> based on how his character started. And okay. The way you played him, he's evolved. I, I like, no, no, I, I liked him as, as well. I think that, you know, he's come a, he's come a long way um, from, from the character that he started out as. Yes. And you kept him alive, and, you know, you got the two hardest ones last time, the two hardest... Like playthroughs. Oh so. man, Sam had my like my palms were sweaty, my heart was racing. I was happy <laughs> to kill my favorite character. I didn't though, so she's yeah. still in. Yes, this is the one where uh, this is a choose your path uh, game. Um, so so far we've had at least one confirmed death. Uh, Jessica could still be alive. Um, we haven't seen her die, so True. she could still be alive. We only had one confirmed death. The brother kind of got sawed in half. Yeah. It, it is tough to come back from that. It is. It is. But my theory was that it was, you know, it was all staged. Which is possible. Yeah. I think he's, he's, he's the evil mastermind behind this whole thing. Get back at them for the prank on, on Han. Oh, no, baby. Now I'm like extra nervous, and I was already scared going into tonight because it's until dawn. I can't wait to give you the worst news once this series ends. Oh no. I know. Oh, bye, Blue. Have bye, a good Blue. Night. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Ooh. Killing Floor 2 for Spooky Season event. Okay. Okay then. That definitely sounds chilling. Hardest to keep alive is Emily. Well, we're okay if she dies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that, that that's all right. Dark Pictures Anthology. We uh, saw Dark Pictures, and they they looked fun. Yeah, and they're couch co-ops, so uh, those look like fun games that we could uh, play on the channel. Um, not sure when. Uh, we don't have it like you know all planned out. What we're gonna play right after this. Um, Sunday streams we have planned out so far. Devil May Cry 5 and then God of War 4, but Friday night streams, it's, uh, it's up in the air. The way you made it sound, like we had it planned out, I was like, oh, really? Like, well, it's like, because I only knew of those two, but I don't know. That's I pretty hear. planned. For us, that's pretty planned. That's true. Yeah. Gotham Knights. So ready for that, but we still have to play our other Gotham games. No, yeah, whatever. no network No network error. error. Shut up. <laughs> There's no error. You're, no a, ne error you're a network error. Okay, the catch cough is the same as the quarry. Ah! 
Bummer. That's okay. Yeah, I know. I know, it's not as fun. It's not, it's not as fun. It's being like, it, it together. It's basically, I mean, you know, what we do with this is just they choose for you instead of... True. I guess it makes, it makes it a little bit easier, a little bit cleaner, because we kind of just like hand it back and forth. True. Also true. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is a game I want to play. Sha uh, Shaolin Monks for Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Co-op. So yeah. it's like a... That's one with like the, basically like... Not the story mode in the, in the sense that we played the story mode before, but it's just... It's like... Play together and it's action adventure. I, I was already on board for it. You don't need to convince me. Spoils all my fun. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ghostbusters, nice. Seriously though, how can you be good bears when you've been a bunch of naughty bears? Yeah, J. Nice, nice. Naughty porn bears. <laughs> I really like what when Ken. Like put that on our schedule for the day. I honest to God thought it was gonna be like teddy bear porn It's just it did not occur to me that it would be murderous teddy bears You make her watch bear porn one time and all of a sudden every bear thing you put on is all of a sudden bear porn <sighs> Oh beat scorn Beat it quick enough to get us a, a refund dang Ah Naughty Bear sounds like an adult toy company. <laughs> yes, it does. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> uh, Soup Mac, thank you so much for your kind words. I did see that. I'm sorry if I'm not saying your name quite right, but thank you very much for that. Of course, Getty. Don't knock teddy bear porn until you've tried it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Fair. Very fair. Ooh, Shaolin Monks is the favorite Mortal Kombat game of all time. Nice. Oh, wow, nice. That is a strong endorsement. Yeah, Professor T. Order of the Nightwalkers. Like the name. Kenneth. Great name. Good morning. <laughs> Glad you're able to catch us on a stream. Hi, Kenneth. I'm an achievement whore. <laughs> hey. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, we got, we got, we still have Nightlight. Yeah. Hope everything's all right. He's gonna be bummed he missed it. Hopefully he joins late. When you sneeze, you die for a millisecond? I did hear, isn't it supposed to be something like when you sneeze and when you orgasm, that's the closest to death you'll ever be until you die? <laughs> like I've heard like, I heard a bunch of things about sneezing. It's like you can like, it's also like one eighth of an orgasm is sneezing and... One, no. Yes, what, I've heard these crazy facts about sneezing. No. There is no enjoyment to be had from sneezing. <laughs> it is not a fraction of an orgasm. The person who said that has probably never had an orgasm. True. That's my theory. When you sneeze and what? <laughs> and when you orgasm. That like physiologically it puts such a strain on your body that that is theoretically as close as you will be to death before you die. Or like, you know, get your terminal illness or whatever terrible thing it is that sets you on that path. Grimlaw. Uh, I actually had someone that was like, that said the same thing. It was like, it's like, that they were afraid that if you sneeze with your eyes open, like your like, eyes would like pop out. It's and so impossible. I, no, it is possible. I've done it before. It's yes, it is. I sneeze in front of them with, with my eyes open to show them that it was fine. Like, my eyes are not going to pop out. Watch. I it's not it. possible to, yes. you're going to have to show me. You I can do not it. It's fine. It. It's not possible. Yes, I've done it. Especially when you're driving, you gotta do it. That's just, just it. I oh. tried when I was driving, especially when I was like an <laughs> eager young driving student and everything. And I, I was like, oh my God, if I close my eyes, I'm gonna die. And it's not physically possible for me to see with my eyes open. Yeah, you walked into, you, uh, Dante the Shadow, you walked into some crazy shit right now. <laughs> yeah. Hey Dante, how's it going? <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Why don't you go over the uh, I was gonna say, am the I rules? To do rules now? Yeah, you'll do you'll do the rules. All right. I, I don't have nightlight to uh, flag for me anything that I might forget, so bear with me. Uh, golden rule of our channel: if you can't play nice with others, you cannot play here. Be respectful of each other, without any exception. Be respectful of the moderators. Be respectful of us. We're all here to have a good time, so let's just do that. Let's not be mean. Mm -hmm. um, with that goes that. There is a ton of craziness going on in the world right now. 
we're aware of it, we should be aware of it. But right now this is our chance to check out from all that drama and just have fun. It's Friday night for us. For some of you it's already Saturday. It's a weekend, people. Mm -hmm. So, you know, religion, politics, controversial topics of any kind. Let's just keep that off into the far corners of another Ethernet world. Um, but not here. Uh, backseat Gaming, please avoid it. We will try to ask for help. It might get a little bit painful, but we will ask for help before it gets too bad. Um, thankfully, with these, it's not so much of a backseat gaming game. Yeah. So, shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, with that, no spoilers of any kind, either for the game, for current movies, TV shows. Um, there's a lot of content Ken and I haven't seen. We want to react to it for you authentically. And in order to do that, we can't know what's coming. Uh, also, other people in the community might not have seen it. So, don't want to spoil it for them either. Uh, I think I got it all. Did yeah, I? Yeah, did. yeah. Okay. Uh, also, uh, Alina or Alana, um, Jay, welcome to your first stream. Hey, welcome. welcome. Um, Dante, you're not too late. Uh, you didn't miss anything. We're just getting started. It's, we, we do the rules, then we get started. And as people have mentioned in the chat, the actor that played Hagrid in Harry Potter passed away. Which is just devastating. Yeah, which is which is, which, which is sad, of course. Um, so, yeah. Moment yeah. of silence for, for Hagrid. Poor Hagrid. But, but he'll live on forever. Yeah, for that actor. He got to be memorialized in one of the best roles ever. So, yeah. good on him. Exactly. And rest in peace. Yep. Um, the Curse of Bridge Hollow. Ooh, I like the title. Don't know anything about yeah. it, but it sounds good. He was the perfect choice for Hagrid. I agree, Getty. Yeah. Yep. Aw, oh, fly with the owls. You're a wizard, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> uh, good job, BB. Yeah, just for that one classic line. Yep. You're a wizard, Harry. Yes. I mean, immortal. That's his uh, Iconic. I, was, I actually found out because um, Paul Rudd, posted a message on Instagram with R.I.P. And, and his photo. And that's the first thing that popped into my head when I saw the actor's face was just mm. haggard saying that. It's like, it's so yeah so ingrained in us, um, like our generation who grew up with Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm wizard. <laughs> uh, great Gator, we have not started um, playing yet. Um... Paul Rudd was born in the 60s when Hagrid was born. <laughs> Well done. And yes, he probably was. What time is it? Um, 9.18. Okay. Well, we're going to get started. Hopefully Nightlight shows up. Hopefully everything's okay. I hope so. All right. Maybe so. he finally gets to sleep in for once. Yeah, no. I mean, good for him. Yeah. yeah sleep in. Um, okay, you ready to play? Yes. All right. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, Christopher Angelo Lansbury, too. Mrs. Mm. Potts. Ah! Is this scary? Yes. Ah! Very. Ah! Oh my god, we gotta get out of here. I don't understand what happened. This is insane. We need to go get some help. Hello? Guys? Hello, Samantha. Looking for me. We should look for the others. Mike and Jess are off 69ing each other, and who knows where Sam is. I think she's in the lodge. Why are we still talking about this? Let's go! Hey, look! Fire tower. <laughs> Matt, what is that? I don't know. <gasps> yes, Sam in the stick on towel. Oh, yeah, crap. That's right. I forgot. Oh, this is not going to be good. They're both dead. I have an axe, I'll start swinging. Don't show them your axe. Give them all 
I feel like if you, if you swung, man, they were just gonna start gouging you. There's so many of them. Good job. Man. You well, hurt the deer, and I didn't hurt. Yeah. The bird. And it turned out to be good. That would almost or be gr wolf. grounds for divorce if I if I slaughtered the deer right there. I mean, it's true. Sometimes I'll do it because it's funny, <laughs> but <laughs> just to see your reaction, but. Like, I would have pelted something with a snowball. Like, I would have pelted the squirrel with a snowball. That's... I mean, it's not the if we do nice manage to get someone on the radio, we then we tell them we need help. <laughs> what do we do while we wait? We go back to the lodge and get everyone else. Oh, God, not the lodge. We should stay here in case whoever it is needs to get back in touch with us. Let's get that radio working first. It's by her. It's just a security light. Motion sensor, probably. Exactly. That's like, she's definitely gonna stay alive. She sees all. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was bright. I love how she sells the flashlight, though. Like, she just doesn't yeah. know how bright it was, but we saw the flashlight running just because. Flashy, flashy thing. Shiny. Oh, good night, Captain Scoobies. Like Captain 12. Scoobies, love the name. Isn't that awesome? Good. Yes. No, no, hang on, hang on. I don't want to go up yet. I want to explore. Yep, this is a deck. Oh, don't fall down. That would be tragic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? Gotta stay active. High knees, high knees. Okay. I'm surprised she didn't complain, like, make him go up. Yeah, that would be more her style. What are you doing? Why would you not take the axe with you? Yeah! It's not like you can't carry that and go up the ladder. Yeah, that was... Oh my god. Well, I guess this is why she bitches at him all the time. Yep. Alright. Come on. There's the ladder. Go up it. Because you're getting higher up. Huh. You were so spot on with the bright thing before. <laughs> Don't fail me now, Emily. You're a crowd favorite. Everyone was like, this, there's one person you can't kill at time. Charm, charisma.
last time. I was thinking, I was like, where did all that come from? Yeah. Nothing and just jogging in place. There are clues here. Sorry, Anna. You're still missing. It was just a prank. Anna Washington was last seen in the location of the Blackwood Pines Ski Lodge, Alberta, between 1.30 a.m. and 2.30 a.m. on February 2nd, 2014. She may have been in some distress. You think? Yeah. Uh, and has a tattoo on her right shoulder. Uh, shoulder. Soldier. Shoulder. A butterfly. No, no. Trying again, just in case. I'm just, <laughs> just seeing. You know, maybe it needs two pushes. Yeah, baby, I was wondering that too. Like we. We don't care about the other sister, it's only Hannah who needs to be found. Yep. <gasps> Huzzah! Yeah, here we go! Yeah, you also just told everybody where you are. Just saying. So that radio better get you out there. La 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 la. Just don't fall down. La 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 la. Oh, an emergency flare. Yeah, see? That's why I explore. We've got guns and shit. Oh. Is it booted? Uh. Give flare gun to Matt. Yeah, I don't trust you with it. <laughs> gonna like keep hold it. it. Yeah, hold yeah. it. I didn't think it was gonna shoot it. Yeah. Damn it. Why did I give it to Matt? Stupid Matt. Especially because like doing it in a blizzard with that much wind and snow and fog and like low visibility, yeah, like, it's just who are you trying to signal in the first place? You're really set on printing something, aren't you? Yeah. Ooh, Beth. Ah, uh, they just didn't hang Beth yet. Yeah. Bright pink padded jacket, black leggings, snow boots, and a white beanie hat. You will be missed. Make it up to 11. Uh, 
Yeah. Oh my god, please help, we're stuck on Blackwood Mountain by the ski lodge, and, and there's a killer, and he's killed one of our friends, oh god, please, get us, please. You stop hitting the button. Persist. Oh gosh, please, oh my god, we're gonna die up here if you don't You do really want to kill her, don't you? God, you are so dead, Emily. Dead, but if she died, we'd got cheated on like seeing her die. Let her drop. Suspicious, I saw you. <laughs> Matt's not like that. Emily, I'm glad you're playing. Sex. You need to calm down. You're gonna be fine. Ah, oh, stop talking. I can't take it. But stop yelling at me and let me work this out, okay? Yeah, you just take all the time you need. Not like I'm going anywhere. <laughs> Play it how you want to play it, not how you think I would want to play it. It's not how you want to play it, it's what I think she deserves in this moment. <laughs> Whatever you say, princess. Now will you please get me off this goddamn tower? Please, please, please not just do something! Action's not really- ooh. He's a good guy. I'm coming. Here. Yeah, no matter what, he would try to save her at least. Even if it means his death. Matt's dead too. Oh. Okay, he's not dead. Maybe 
least he tried. Yeah, I mean, I feel like he's a decent guy. Don't cry, dude. Dude, you probably shouldn't have shot off that flare. Emily's fault. Chris. Yeah. What? Chris, I just want to say what happened back there in the shed. I know how hard that was. Josh was your friend. Actually, stop. No, I want to say, I mean, thank you. Thank you for saving my life. Ash, what was I going to do? Okay, I, 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 I couldn't let anything happen to you. I couldn't. Oh, this thing again? Oh man. Ash, you're alright. Dead yeah, by daylight just, style. Yeah. I know. Brutal. You and Josh were close, Chris. Let's just find Sam, okay? That that's what we're doing. I mean, now. oh my god. Ashley, just stop, okay? I don't want to think about Ain't what just happened. Chris. We're finding okay. Sam. Look at this. Chris, <clears throat> what happened here? I'm no forensics expert. But it looks like it was thrown. I'm sorry, I'm gonna kill both of you right now, too. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to. I just know what's gonna happen. I apologize in advance. This is so effed up. See the ghost? Like a see shape, like a ghost. Oh boy. I'm serious. Oh, Why don't you believe me? I said I saw it. Doesn't that count for anything? We, we've been through hell tonight, okay? Your mind is fried. My mind is fried. I, I don't even trust what I've been seeing. Doesn't sound very convincing. Are we going crazy down here? It, it's it's the only place left Sam could be, Ash. I wish we could just go find everyone else and. What if Sam needs us? What if she's in trouble? Oh God. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, sure. Trust the doors that open by themselves. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Will anyone survive the playthrough? The answer, Ken is playing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
at least when she would have died, if I was playing, it would have been funny, like when I questioned her about what happened <laughs> between her and Mike. Ooh, Vivi, what kind of pie? Apple pie? Step in the eye. You can see in the windows. See what? It's tiny furniture? No. It's a whole scene with dolls and everything. Creepy Someone doll. recording. That's what you guys did. I'm like, everyone's eyes are... Like, bloody tears. Yeah, I guess you need a key if you want to lay around in it. Really? You were... You would think now is a good time to play with a dollhouse? Seem like a ghost. That seemed like no. a person. You were looking at your phone, you dip. What are you tweeting? You Hashtag there's a fucking ghost after us. Ash, calm down, okay? There is no ghost here. A ghost of what? Christmas ghost of Sparta. Right now because of what happened with Josh. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. I saw it. I saw a ghost, and it looked like Hannah. It looked wait, like wait, Hannah. Wait, 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 what? Her baby's Jesus, Ash. What, what, what do you think? They followed us up here from the seance? Oh, I don't know. Maybe they did it because. Ghosts don't exist, okay? Oh, okay, who was talking to us at the seance, Chris? I don't know. It's a Ouija board. Mm hmm <laughs> What is that? How does the picture just jump over the wall? Like no, thanks. It doesn't. No, thanks. La, 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 Grab the bat. Isn't there a bat over here? It's like Lucille. Yeah, right? Hide in the wardrobe. <laughs> Same with this way. This much we know. I 
it. It's Hannah's diary. Mom finally agreed. The invitations are out. The party is going to happen. I hate that I have to wait. So far, Ash, Matt, and Sam have said definitely yes. Nothing from Mike. Frowny face. I really think Josh is... Josh is doing better now that he's out of the hospital. I saw him today. This was before, a couple months before we all came up. I saw him today and he seemed better. He's pretty upbeat, but he talked like he's been doing therapy for such a long time. I guess I didn't know. Mom and Dad never let on. Funny how you could not even know your own brother. I kind of need a good cry thinking about how lonely he must feel. What was going on with Josh exactly? I don't know. OMG, Mike confirmed he phoned Josh this afternoon. Butterflies. Oh, poor girl, you had it so bad, Mike. Everyone being together here on the mountain is gonna be so awesome. Cozy fires and hot tubs and OMG, Mike, I am so psyched to spend some time with him. I can't read this. It's so sad, Chris. Totally gotta stop obsessing, but I can't. What I'll read it for you. Came from down there. No. Shit! Okay, that was not. But you did see it, Chris, for real. I saw something. But I know. I'm like, I'm gonna see that in my dreams tonight. It's not gonna be fun. Oh hey, look at this. It doesn't seem as old as some of the stuff down here. It's a catalog. Is it? It's gonna stab her in the booty. She's gonna die. Carmen San Diego. Are you kidding me? Did you know this was here? This this is like a whole other hotel. I had no idea this was here. I don't think I can take any more of this. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm about my limit here too. All I wanted to do was forget last year ever happened and- To be honest, I'm not sure what Hannah thought she was doing. Yeah, well, 
You know how it is when you're crushing pretty hard on somebody. Great. So you're basically saying that we put a vulnerable friend in a terrible situation yeah. and essentially caused her to run away and never to be heard from again. Yep. Yeah. If it was you, don't you think you would have run away? I mean, who likes being made fun of? <laughs> People don't make fun of me. To your face. <laughs> Ouch. What? Chris, we made her look so stupid in front of all of her friends and the guy she liked. I can't imagine doing anything worse to somebody. Yeah, especially that kind of like humiliation yeah. as a teenager. I mean, I mean, you're supposed to be your friends, like. Yeah. Shame on you. You know what? No. Ash. No, I've had enough. I'm not going down any further into this nightmare, Chris. Ashley, I understand, okay? I'm really freaked out too, but if Sam's down there all alone with a maniac and, and we leave, we're basically killing her ourselves. I know, I know, I just, I don't think I can do After it. After what she went through? <sighs> yeah, it's not looking good, huh? I'm really scared, Chris. I'm scared too, but I got your back, okay? As long as you got mine. I do. I got your front. Um, yeah, so let's get this over with, I guess. Okay. After you. Have fun going down to the scary basement. Chris, I'm getting a really weird feeling from all of this. What do you mean? What just doesn't add up? What doesn't add up? Any of this, the, the psycho, all this crazy stuff going on down here, I just, I feel like we've missed something. It's something that'll make it all connect. Yep. Uh, I know what you mean, but I mean, who knows what that would be? Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, you gave up on that idea real quick, Ashley. Mm -hmm. No, don't, no, no. Just wanna check. That's really bright. <laughs> Call back. Missing Emily already. Yeah. Mm. I don't know, maybe I don't want to touch it? <sighs> oh, batteries and timers. turn on on their own and freak them out? I guess so. Dude, where are you? You wanted to come down here. <laughs> All right? And you're just gonna chill back there? You're cool with that? I guess he was just, they weren't really after him. Well, no, that's Josh. That one. He's still alive. Well, he got sawed in half. He technically should be crossed off. Yeah. Should be. I mean, what, what is this, like a fucking hit list? Christ. Matt, it was so boring. He didn't even make the list. <laughs> 
most memorable contribution was his Dead by Daylight death. Yes. Oh. I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> I'm not ready for that yet. They do like their hooks all over the place, don't they? There are like more hooks in this place. Why do you want to go in there alone? Like, dude, can you not like leave me alone? Can you come with me? What is he looking at? He's found something. Feeling very vulnerable after I was almost sawed in half, and I witnessed my friend getting sawed in half. Oh crap! Oh, Look Jesus. at that. Blood. Might be Sam's. All right, let me see if I can get this. Yeah, I got it, but oh damn, this thing is heavy. Be careful. You gotta come through, Ash. I, I can't hold it. Yeah. Oh, come on. Chris. Wait, what? I think I just saw Sam over there. Ash, are you sure? I don't know, but come on. Why don't you be well, a little bit louder? Bleeding came through here, okay? So we really gotta get moving, like now. Shit. I'm gonna mess with the movement. Sam, Ash. you're abandoning him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe don't shout. Someone dress up a dummy like Sam. Chris, I don't know, and I'm kind of freaking out. Where the hell <gasps> No, 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 Bye, Chris. Crazy. No, no, Chris, no. Aww. What are you saying, Chris? I'm sorry. 
I should have told you how I felt. Come on. Actually, I swear we get out of this. Question your what? Yeah. Whoa, Jesus Christ. He loved her. He said his last words. You have gone too far now. <laughs> Don't you see? Bye, Chris. Huh? Don't you see that this torture porn has gone too far? Huh? Now, what gives you the right to play God in these people's lives? What makes you so special then? Huh? Poor Chris. We killed a lot of people so far. This one. You're sick. You're a sick fuck. Now what the hell have you done to them? Huh? What the hell have you done to them? Psychopath. I think he's gonna Psychopath. kill you, dude. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure you're not supposed to call the psychopath a psychopath. They usually don't like that. Or they like it too much. Either oh, way, it's not good. Hey, it's concrete towel. <laughs> hey, guys, come on! <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's oh. a freaky mask. Sam. <clears throat> oh God! Chris, the choice is yours. Hello. Oh, my God, we need help, please. Hopefully. Hopefully. Found psychiatric report. Joshua Washington. Oh, well that's yeah. That's encouraging. Jeremy Harris, well point surgery after incident at school. After incident at school. After disagreement over treatment. He's got a lot of psychologists. After patients' response to drugs tapered badly. 
due to potential suicide risk. Okay. Patient reported that side effects, headaches, nausea were becoming too severe and wanted to change drug. Patient claimed that the drug was no longer having any effect, reported that his mood had badly worsened. Patient began self-medicating, taking stronger doses. Oh, that's not good. Twice daily, increasing to three times daily for two weeks. Side effects, hypotension, blurred vision, dizziness, insomnia, vomiting, diarrhea, muscle tremors, liver damage, hepatitis. On withdrawal, nausea, insomnia, nightmares, agitation, hallucinations, paranoia, aggressiveness, slurred speech, ataxia, catatonia, shocks. Ask your doctor if this is right for you. Damn. <laughs> Patient arrived, delirious, confused, strong symptoms of major depressive disorder related to death, disappearance of sisters. Placed patient under observation. ECT was considered given patient's history of tapering drug effects but rejected. CBT, IPT, psychoanalysis, etc. failed to produce any improvement. New course of drugs was necessary. Patient moved on to a non-selective MAOI, rationale being that SSRIs and SNRIs had proven ineffective in the past. Higher than average dose was necessary to see reduction of symptoms. After two weeks, patient symptoms and mood were greatly improved. Discharge on 16th May after final consultation. consultation proved satisfactory. Dr. I'm not a doctor, so like yeah. all of these medications is really not going to mean much to me. Mm -hmm. But okay, so Josh, Josh has issues. Yeah. Lots and lots of issues. Hi Josh, it's Alan. I hope you don't mind me texting you, but this is important. I got your email. I don't think that your plan is going to help. I think you need to stop what you're doing and come to see me. Please pick up your phone. I'm getting worried. Josh, leave me alone. Are you still taking your meds? I'm fine. It's very dangerous to stop taking your drugs mid-course, Josh. Contact my office to make an appointment, please. Josh, 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 please respond. Oh, you can't. I should have done that before. And not have gone, like, swung it around. Okay? No, you can cancel out of it. There's a 
Hmm? Oh, my thank God you found me. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Yeah. I, I don't understand. How did you get here? How did you find me? Just a fucking maniac up here on the mountain. Yeah, no shit. I he lives in this, like, web of tunnels. I was down there trying to get out, and then I found this great, and I saw you. Listen, this guy who you're talking about, he attacked me. He showed me these videos, too. And one of them showed Josh being killed, just ripped apart by this huge fucking saw blade. Jesus Christ. And, like, I think somehow Josh is involved in all of this. Like, what? How? I'm really not sure, but there was a message from his doctor, and it mentioned a plan that was like a bad idea, and now he's dead. What the fuck is going on around here? There's a door here. It won't open. Can you unlock it from your side? Pink backpack, was that bats? She has a pink coat. Okay. And so the backpack might be hers too. No, I don't mind you changing uh, in front of me. Right. My bad. I mean, he did think he was going to get some action, but then it didn't happen. Okay. Yeah, she's got, now she's got her athletic gear on. Let's put this thing to bed. I'm into that. What's that? What's that? Ah, there are blanks. Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris, 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 Chris. What the fuck? But you've heard of blanks before. I mean, really? Yeah, you bastard. Dislocated if you landed like that. That would suck. Look at her being a little acrobat. I know. Oh shit. I did it. Don't worry. Yeah, but you always like scratch your face at like the most inopportune time. I really do. Like I should just know now. Shit. When I have an itch, it yeah. means something is gonna happen. Matt died for your sins. And you're about to die, so like maybe maybe get out of there? You're gonna be impaled by a burning stake. Mm -hmm. Like you're a vampire. No, but seriously, just look at it. It's really pretty. Look at the flowers. <laughs> Oh. Maybe you should have moved. Yeah. Instead of looking at like this thing, this thing's gonna fall on me. But then I'm alive. It's bright. So seriously, who did kill? 
god. Matt. It goes 600 bucks. <laughs> Seriously? Alright. It's cool. Matt's dead, but let's mourn your top. Yeah. Now, why don't you go and see what happens to Matt and then show a little shred of decency? What kind of noise is that? Go say hi to the psycho killer. Go make friends. What's that? You see the little. No, I did. I'm just trying to see what that says. What is it? It says Scarface Elevator. Surface Elevator. I was going to say, why is it a Scarface? <laughs> um, a coffin? It looks like yeah. a coffin, right? Like a vampire coffin? It's not a coffin, it's a little uh, cart, like. On the track? It's very narrow it? for. You don't see the wheels down there, and. Oh yeah, I guess so. Maybe I just have vampires on the brain. Yeah. It's like you're gonna do like your little Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom thing. Exactly. I mean, oh. we can make it a coffin. It just it looks very narrow, and usually those cards are like more square. If you stand the fucking track, it will. <laughs> Which, as Emily, I might decide to do. Oh, nice. Um, get your magnum. Get the uh, <laughs> red herbs and the green herbs. Uh, the blasting crew. Dynamite the new shafts. Okay. Okay. Emily's all about dynamite shafts. Dirty. Dirty. Dragon in here! Jakaris!
Oh my god, Emily, I kind of want to kill you just so I stop hearing you whine all the time. I mean, you could have turned that on the whole time. Why'd you ruin your $600 shirt? Or jeans, whatever the hell you're talking about. Also, she's walking pretty good on that leg, having had it mm -hmm. have something fall on it so hard that it created that giant gash. Push on it again. There you go. There you go. But I do feel like that oh is God. a um, character inconsistency. If she had her phone on, there's no way she would have like ruined anything that like cost money. She was bitching about it. She bitches about everything. Okay. What else can you get? Hang on. There was something else over here. There was. I saw it too. Stop. There you go. Weird. Totem! Really weird. Nope. Not? What? What was it? What the hell is that? Look at it again. I mean, it kind of looks like an upside down snail. I'm sure that's not what it is. But that's what I'm seeing. I thought it was a medieval cut. <laughs> it's got like the whole EP out of, like as well. Like it's actually ahead of its time. Dearest Billy, hurry home safely from your loving wife and daughter, Agnes and Louise. Aw, so sweet. Alright. See how you climb, Emily. One good leg. Mm. It's a miner's helmet. Walk, she's like, uh, 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 uh. I want you to carry me, Matt. You don't want to find Matt, trust yeah. me. Matt, I'm tired. It seems like there's something there, but it's her phone flashlight <laughs> at certain angles. Okay. Always have your phone charged at 100% when you're in a horse. Exactly, and she's still walking very like. Uh, I can't do this. There's her torch. Mm-hmm. 
down there. No way she would have climbed that wall. Ooh, totem. totem. Okay, here goes nothing. Death. Danger totem. All right, something reaching out at you. I don't know that it was her though. Ooh, try it again. So yeah, I think we can look at it. We saw that. Wait, wait, is there a second one? It's two of there, isn't it? No? Okay. I'm just making stuff up now. Looks like the, the other one's like farther. So, like, I probably have to hit it from the other side, yeah? Yeah. Away. Although, I mean, I was, when we were in that one tower or whatever, I was looking at things and I like, never. I couldn't find it until you told me, like, look at the control panel. Dead. Oh, well, I guess your leg isn't injured at all then. So you could. You did all that work for the elevator and you're gonna climb the icy cliff? Right? Shit. You're the one with the 4.0 GPA? Are we sure? She had a lot of sex with her teachers. Oh, God. Awful. Oh, wait, no, go back and like, hang on. <sighs> Lovely. Danger is my middle fucking name. Is it? Yeah. Uh oh, Hannah. My new tattoo. When are you getting yours back? Kids, you guys played down here in the freaky mine shaft? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is the way I came from, right? This I think so, yeah. Oh, what's that? Ooh. <laughs> That's Mark's exactly a year ago. They've been trapped down here for a year. Ooh! Die down here. I thought they got their head smashed on a rock. Rock. Fourteen days before Valentine's Day. No, twelve days before Valentine's Day. It's a bummer. I don't know, I mean, if there's a 
holiday to miss. It's the best one. You get little candies that are have sweet words on them. And you can't eat because they break your teeth. Ew, candy girls are gross. I know. <laughs> what are you saying oh shit for? Like, you still don't know what's going on. Some fire and what? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. That's right. Ken is married to a ghost. Beth is not real. I'm here feeding his delusions. <laughs> you guys figured it out. Very quickly, too. Oh, she goes down here. Is it just me, or does this feel like really long, like, scene? Is it just because it's Emily? Or is it a really long scene? It does feel like I've been exploring these caves for quite a while. She can see back. Dude, that guy lives in the fire. She can't see because she threw a torch. Are you trying to not move? Every now and then, right? 
and race they did. I mean, every one of you just pitter-pat, pitter-pat. I hope you appreciated my little phantasmagorical spectacle. I mean, no detail too small. That just no happened. opportunity missed. It was such a delight to play the puppet master to, to all of your Pavlovian panic. <laughs> Yeah, you put that right, yep. And no retakes. Nope, nope, nope. Only double takes. Oh, you should have seen your faces. Hook, line, and sinker for every little stinker. Josh, why are you doing this? Yeah, don't even ask this squirrely little grunt. He's got no clue. He's out of his fucking tree. He's definitely off oh, his he's a squirrel. Oh, come on, you guys. Revenge is the best medicine. You're done. Mike, he's sick. What? Come on, you guys are all gonna thank me when you guys become internet sensations. Wait, what, what? Oh, you better believe this little puppy's going viral, ladies and germs. I mean, we got unrequited love. We got, we got blood. I don't think there's enough hard drives in China to, to count all the views we're gonna get, you guys. What are you talking about, you asshat? <laughs> Jessica's fucking dead. What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. You are gonna fucking pay, dick! Yeah, that was fair. Mm hmm. Guess if Jessica is dead. Uh, well, she did fall down an elevator shaft. Guys, come on. Of course, Emily Seriously, fell out of a this is tower. Crazy, yeah. You know? Shut up. Why'd you hit her, man? Huh? Why'd you the fucking hit her? Ah! Uh, what are you talking you about? You punched Ashley, you piece of shit! Mm. <laughs> I got so mad. You don't hit a girl. You just don't. Dude, dude, Chris. Bro, I, I'm not your bro. Bro. Where are you going? Where are you guys taking me? Fuck you up, bro. What? You can't do anything stupid before we call the police in the morning. Come on. I didn't do anything. Are you serious, bro? Goddamn murderer is what you are. I didn't do it. Michael, please, just listen to me, man. I did not hurt Jessica. He's angry. You know what, man? You need to shut up. Chris, hey, come on, coaches. We're partners. Stop. Don't say that. Fine. Be a dick. <laughs> Cause Mike gun, Mike's gun actually works. It doesn't have lights in it. See what you want to see. You're not fine. You are ah, dude. Ah, it's not my fault. You suckers can't take a joke. I'm not joking. People oh, die. Did I hurt you? Did you just you feel a little, little bit of pain? Yeah, but I don't think you really meant to pain. I'm so, so sorry. Stop Although, it. Jesus, dude. But what would have happened if you chose I'm Ashley? Sorry. Mm. I can't tell you how sorry I am. Or maybe no matter what we're going to do. Is there a malfunction? I, <laughs> I swear to you, I have no idea what happened to her. Thank you. I can't trust you. Josh, be, be honest with you. Do you really expect us to trust you after for a you single did? goddamn second mm -hmm. after all the shit you put us through? But can't we all just get along? <laughs> Josh, 
Uh, okay, time me up now, okay? Stay still, All right. man. Right, 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 still. Okay. And time up if you just wiggle around. <laughs> Is it wrong that Josh is crying? Not so tight. And this is more pretty with Cassie Murray yeah. Alex. In God's name, is he talking about? This is hard to watch. You ever see this kind of shit before? Oh, I've never seen him like this. Shh, shh, shh. What if they're stupid? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Chris and Ash. Chris is an ass. Ash leads to Dom Dom. I'm sorry, what did you say? Well, I said you're a dummy, dummy. You're... What is wrong with you? Oh, Ashley. <sighs> oh, I never imagined in my wildest dreams that you liked me. Stop. <laughs> but you know what that sound is? It's the sound of never kissing Ashley, you pussy! Stop! Yeah, you know? You might as well let Ashley sleep with Mike. I mean, at least he's got some notches in his belt, you know? He'll treat her! <laughs> <laughs> he's having fun with this. pathetic, Christopher! I'm gonna beat his head off. Don't listen to him. Not worth it. Hey, Mike. Good job, Mike. Mm -hmm. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike, what? What happened with Jess, Mike? You know what happened? No. No, I... I don't. I got a problem, Mike. I don't remember killing Tess. Jesus Christ. I mean, like, I feel like I, I would remember killing her, you know? She's so soft. And she's probably got, like, a really tight bod. Shut your fucking mouth! Mike's gonna die. I'm starting to like him. Like a lot. Yeah, me too. Previously on Until Dawn. Alright, I'm gonna get another drink and then, uh, so what are you thinking so far? I feel like Sam is still, uh, like, front runner for, for a female survivor. Yeah, I kind of want Sam and Mike now to get, to get yeah. it together. <laughs> to feel that too yeah though like when they were talking like when they were talking to each other and like i don't know i was, I was feeling like, that vibe. i feel like he can help her loosen up so she doesn't take herself too seriously yeah and she can like help him be a man instead of a frat boy yep there you go and then um bring out the best in each other i was hoping that it was it was blanks uh when you know he shot he shot himself but like they definitely made you think that it was real i was like i was like well shit i guess it wasn't blanks yep but you were right on the whole josh storyline yeah, that he was uh, the, the crazy one. I mean, well, because like you said, like Rami Malek, like there's no way they got him just to play like such like, a boring character. And I, such a boring I, yeah, role. I could not believe I'm like, what? No. So I think it would have been more believable if it was, or like I would have been, I wouldn't have guessed that maybe if it was a different actor and like it was an actor that I didn't know. <laughs> like any other yeah, actor. Yeah, exactly. Like any other actor. <laughs> yeah. Rami Malek has a type. Yeah, he does. And it's anything but simple. It's anything but yeah. simple, horny, frat boy. <laughs> So, yeah. That kind of gave it away. Alright, turn that on. Oh, I can see it. Well, you just, like, you broke the magic by turning on the light. Like, we were in this, like, scary dark space. and Oh, well, it's, it's intermission. We, taking, have a, we have a runaway. I'm One of our dogs woke up with the light turning on. Uh, you probably all can't tell because we do have the, the actual light on us so that you can still see us. But when we are live streaming, we turn off all the other lights in the room. So for us, it looks really, like dark and it's just the TV and the one spotlight that kind of are, are the only light in the room. Um, 
Okay, so the don't move, I have failed every single one of them except for the one that required me to keep Sam alive. That was the only one I got. And I was I was holding the controller so tightly and like every muscle in my body was tense and I was sitting there so stiff to try and not do it. Cause it's really easy to set it off. Like the the motion activation is so sensitive on it that because I really didn't think I moved for Emily, but oops, I did. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, so I've never fired blanks. I have, uh, Ken took me to a shooting range. It's like a, a, weird to say date day, but like we wanted to try the actual experience of, of firing a gun, uh, especially being actors in LA and like certain casting types, it's useful to at least know how to handle one. Um, so I've never fired blanks, but I have fired a real gun and like they're terrifying because the power of them is, is something awesome. And I don't necessarily mean that in, in a good way, not necessarily a bad way either. It's just like they are definitely a weapon to kill people with. Okay, Nightlight, I, I have to, um, maybe like a little more, but just like a little bit. Thanks, Hanson. Um, I probably will have to put it on the table because <laughs> I'm really bad at it. I don't know, Ken, Ken, have you had any of the don't move sections? I have not. Yeah, see, Ken, we don't, we don't know if Ken's good at it or not. I'm not. We've established that. Yeah, but only Sam. Every other time I've had him, I've, I've just been terrible. Um, okay. Yeah, strawberry, that exactly my concern too because like once it comes on it's like you really can't so like there's how do you move it over to the table um i just might fail <laughs> is what i'm saying <laughs> hopefully nobody else's survival depends solely on that oh evil hag happy 21st birthday that's awesome um do you like Mocktails? I mean, there's no harm in not liking alcohol, but you can have something kind of fun, like you at least can go to a bar now and get a fun Halloween themed cocktail, but do a mocktail so then you don't have to worry about the taste of alcohol. Um, I'm, I'm from Chicago originally, so it was Ken actually, uh, and bars will do a lot of fun themed drinks like at, at this time of year, so that could be a fun place to start. Another thing, if you don't like the taste of alcohol, would be to maybe get something that's in sort of the dessert family. So it's not, it's not a drink that's designed for the taste of the alcohol, but a drink that is designed for a flavor that is, is something more, more fun and almost part of the dining experience. Like, um, I'm trying to think of different ones. Like they, they usually do fun ones with like, I don't know, Baileys and chocolate and things like that. Um, so those could be fun. Ooh, we're back to scary times. Back to spooky times. Uh, what would you say for somebody who's turning 21 tomorrow? Okay. Evil Hag's turning 21. Hey, congratulations. But they don't love the taste of alcohol, so what should they order? And so I was saying like a mocktail or going for like a dessert type of drink because those are a little bit less about the alcohol. Yeah, uh, frozen margarita. Um, Good that time. works because like, I feel like a frozen margarita, especially get, like, if you get like a strawberry margarita or something like that, um, that can usually, that can usually work. Um, and what else? Uh, well, yeah, if you want to do, I'm still here. I'm just, our if dog you want to do a dessert drink, like, I think like Bailey's is like, a, is another one. Like if you're, if you're going to do a shot of something, you can do a shot of like Bailey's, uh, what else? Tasty. Yeah, Bailey's, ba Bailey's is tasty. I mean, it's, it's part of our hidden blade. We do Bailey's and bourbon for the for the hidden blade. 
Um, White Claw, you could do um, as well. I think it's uh, yeah. So you got there, there's there's options. Although you might taste it, but I, I always think like a, a rum and coke is 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 good. So just get something like you know with with, with a good mixer in it. Pina coladas are also fun. Yes, pina coladas are very good. I mean, it's hard. It might be hard to find a bar that's doing one at this time of year, but that was kind of like one of those first drinks that I really liked. Yeah. Um. Okay. Are you ready to do this? I don't know. <laughs> who, was yes. the, who was the last? Did I play last? No, I played. Oh my god! I can't believe we just like it was like five seconds ago. Well, even so, I was on Emily for like half the night so <laughs> whether or not you were just playing you get to continue okay. oh yeah no no because i was just no i was just chris and um still though i played or, half the night as emily josh <laughs> josh how does it feel do you enjoy I was just chris and all Mike. those emotions that my sisters got to feel once one year ago only, only guess what they didn't get to laugh it off no 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 they're gone jessica's fucking dead what you hear me? Jessica is dead. You were gonna fucking pay, you dick! What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't know. What did happen with Jess? Jess. Ooh, your shandies are good. Oh, God! That was crazy. I can't believe she's still alive. Yeah. Well, I mean... Maybe this guy's not as bad as he seems. I do believe Vivi is a pirate. That tracks in my book. Ooh. Ooh, revelation! Okay, don't don't kill her because I was pretty sure I killed her. Okay. Or do kill her? It's Emily, but yeah. Don't do it! Oh yeah, because he's trying to kill that thing. So there's a supernatural spookiness to this, just like Cory. All right, Em, you can do this. Ready? Let's go. Did Emily just become a cheerleader? Yeah, well, I figured like she is. Ah, uh, well said, Kyle. Emily's a great character, just an absolutely terrible person. <laughs> Clue found romantic postcard. Hey Billy, I had a great time. Look me up if you're ever in Calgary, Loretta. Ooh. Yeah. She sounds freaky. This area of the mine has recently suffered structural collapse. Oh, great. Okay. Sweet. Good times. So she's gonna get crushed. Well, we've been trying to kill in a variety of ways, so... Getting crushed would be one of many options. Mm hmm I think, I mean, hang on. Ooh. Okay. Mystery man. Totems. That's what I want to find. Oh, the danger one? Danger. That looks like Chris or Mike. It looks like Mike. Is that 
white. Is that red or white? I can't. Oh, it's white. Okay. Fortune. Okay. Oh, did she get down? Oh, she's on the back. I can't see her, I can only see Abby. Okay. Okay. She's working on making the best bed ever. Okay. I have a blanket on the couch. It's really tough work. Which is why she keeps huffing and puffing. No. Don't grab me. I guess I gotta dead. go that way. That's sweet. Nope. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be the way. The way you get crushed and die. Yeah. <gasps> Holy shit. Oh my god. Elevator surface. Pick one. Oh shit! Oh. oh, she's dead. Oh, nice. Good move. Good move. The treadmill! You can do this! It's like an American gladiator. It's a shredder. Oh no! <laughs> you missed it. I did. Oh shit. I think Zoe fell off the couch. She failed at me. She's bad. You don't think they can punch through that? Didn't you pay attention to when they were punching through? Oh. Oh, nice. Nice, you saved her. I don't know about that. Oh. Oh, rough landing. Very rough. Very, very rough. Between Mike and Emily, to keep Mike alive. Shut the door! Oh my God! Shut the door! 
I'm, are you all right? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming what? Are you okay? You totally won't. There was something. Where's that? Come sit down. Sit down. Something's out there. Did you guys there. put up? A monster Ooh, Chris. in the way? Are you okay? You're gonna ask a monster? I think I just need to calm down. I was moving so damn fast. What? I just had to get away. Oh, wait, what? There was this, this thing, whatever it was. Chris is such a nice guy. Relax, Josh was messing with us. not listening to me. Yeah. He'd be nice. Em, can you tell us exactly what happened? You I don't even know what happened to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it it fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? There's something else. I found this little, like, it was almost like a camp with these marks on the wall and, and this little broken wooden cross. And it, it had... It had Beth's name on it. I think they fell down there, and, and I think Beth died from the fall. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God, poor Beth. Listen, in, in she the dropped tower, her sister, there, was, so. there was a radio, and, it, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Um, oh, you just have Josh up there tied up to me. <laughs> yep. Okay. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, there, there was this monster that was chasing her. Uh, she's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Let's go. You do the door. <laughs> <laughs> There's blatantly somebody on the other side of it. Yeah. So. Mike knows how to shoot handles. <laughs> shoot. Oh. Oh. Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Oh. Oh. Right. <laughs> just okay. Take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Uh, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with him and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, we're responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Your mountain. Uh, I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well... The mountain don't belong to me, it's true. Belongs to them. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, <laughs> yeah, the man. spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. Find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Till dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, He's dead now. Your friend will already be dead. No. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. No! You go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. Yeah. I don't care. I'm going to get him. 
I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. Yes, yeah, you, you do. Yeah, you do. It's suicide. Yeah. Find yeah, the rest yeah. of you. You're not gonna give us a choice. Get down take the basement. Him. Be safe. Don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. He really doesn't. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. <laughs> You're going to help me. Do you understand? Yep. That's the way it goes. Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. I can't help but think that it looks like he has a jetpack on. <laughs> I know it gets for his little flamethrower, but I just keep thinking it's a jetpack. Oh, this is blast the off, like, end. You're towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. Do you? No, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> what? How do you know? Is your way you holding it? Trust me. I know. Hey. Come back safe. Ooh, they find yeah. me. Yeah. Good, so that might be Chris's last night. I'll see you soon. Ooh, yeah, no, he's dead. Yeah. So, so, so tell me, you're Too the expert of these things. <laughs> I, what's, uh... Josh definitely died of virgin. What, what's a guy gotta know? How horny you he was all careful. Yeah, I know, right? You follow my lead. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with a shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? <laughs> no, but it'll slow it down. But how okay. do you kill it? They don't like fire. Yep. I don't like Why fire. Why do you think he has a fucking flank though, dude? And I can kill him if you have to. Your skin is like, it's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. Okay, so you gross. burn and I shoot. Got it. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Uh, they hear some pattern, like any animal. What are you doing? You mean like how? Like they've got schedules? Huh. Uh, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. Not the conversation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that? I can't see you if you're standing still. Uh oh, oh shit. Sight is based on changing the movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I, I'm basically. Like a T Rex. Chris, yeah. you're dead. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. Wendigo, then they all right. turn back to We gotta to find Josh, he can still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo, he'll render you immobile. And then he stores oh. off of your entire body, piece by piece. Oh, fuck no. He keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs one piece at a time. So go watch that. Yeah, beautiful. I literally wasn't even breathing. <laughs>
Oh no! Fire! Oh. That would have been better, but it didn't give me exactly. Yeah, no. It was fine. Run. Fucking lock it, dude! Like, you didn't even close it all the way! Blinds? Oh. Yes, praying word! Good job, beautiful! Oh my god! It did not breathe. I literally did not breathe. It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, um... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it, it tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. Actually, he just decapitated him. Mm-hmm. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, Night -night, how yeah. much time would you All say we have All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top. That thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning. People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I, I mean, right? Mm, two hours. Well, no, probably wait. not then. Probably won't finish it tonight then. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? All his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. F. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. No, Mike. Don't die. And what is all that? So uh, that old guy is bad. Is that a map? That guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It's horrible. You were? You've been a cave-in. Nice feels I feet. guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh, my God. Some of them survived, but With like 15 yeah. of them didn't make it. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. Yeah. yeah. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's yeah. how I got back here. That's also crazy. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. You should um, go. What is... Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god. It's, it's oh my nothing. God. It just oh, it, no, it bit no, me no. and bit you. What bit you? The, the Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you. I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said no. that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus, my God. Ashley, get it together. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike. You got to go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you can't 
stay here. My it's not because you're bit. Because you're fucking annoying. Don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do, and I don't want to say it again. What is this, guys? What are you doing? Door's right here. Ouch. I'm letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, you just go! Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mike, calm down. You're, you're gonna shoot me? <laughs> Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do it. I'm really sorry. Are you serious? <laughs> you can't make Mike that character. I no, I won't make Mike shoot her. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> it's just a prank. Keep an eye on her. If I mean, you see anything. We don't weird, know that Wendigos are zombies. You like, guys know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. No, Mike. Don't do it. What does it say that a lot of people thought I was actually going to shoot her? <laughs> and I probably wouldn't. I thought that that he was going to help us. Is a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, we just a hundred times higher with We got to do this on our own. I don't know if I can. Woo. Okay, reading. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I, this guy's a but, little OCD. Jesus Christ, I guess not. <laughs> I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms, when he's eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo's spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse, often, though, often those companions who have traveled with him. He will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. I have seen this happen many years ago, a craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer, like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled taut across the bones. Remember that. Okay. Eyes go first. And then teeth. Why don't you be this party? <laughs> there was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. There's a lot of history to this. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Ashley's always got to give her fucking opinion <laughs> on everything. Their shamans tell stories of a tall creature born in ice. The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and, uh, and would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. They're also misspelling the Cree. It's K-R-E-E, -E, all right? They're the blue people. The blue people. Combat. The, the Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo- it says that because the yes, Wendigo's please, are give us your opinion. from humans, <laughs> When they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. She's giving us the Cliff's notes. <laughs> uh, they become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard, like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. 
Fire envelopes them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death huh. releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I've contained them. I used traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. Okay, so we gotta get them the cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. Okay, that's dark. One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountain. Jesus, got a lot. There may be defenses. Shamans wrote of rituals. I found I found native artifacts on the mountain and Ash, copied them. Think? Totems, bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their designs. I have tested them. Out on the mountain they work. They keep the Wendigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings they do not work. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo. But the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, uh, okay. but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Okay. Alright, so... Will the bite maker crave the flesh of another? Um. Oh no 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 what? no! We'll make it less of a bitch. What does it say? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, why would you keep it to yourself? It says that the bites. It, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. That would have sucked reading that after we shot her. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What did you say? <laughs> um, so she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me at that <laughs> And this oh bitch God. almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's none of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse, Please, Emily. Emily. Do you understand, yeah. understand the palm of my hand, bitch? Oh! <laughs> no, I wanted to bitch slap you. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Oh. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like now. Chris, I thought you don't hit a girl. Hmm. You should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death. It's pretty bad. Or possibly yep. allowing a tragedy to occur. Because he couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year? Huh? Are you left your poor sisters to die? Doctor Hill, you're a You did jerk. nothing to help. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. Oh, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Tisha? Your game has gone terribly wrong. Screw you. Your it's going great. Your sisters have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? <laughs> why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? I don't think he realizes he did. Yeah. You didn't hurt anyone. Oh, but of course you did. They were your friends, you misled them, you lied to them, and you put them through a night of genuine horror. I didn't kill anybody. He's not sorry. He thought it was all just a game. It's just crazy. a game? But it's a game that has driven you to one of your own deepest fears, Joshua. Isolation. All right. Ooh. Yeah, the end of there. Cause yeah, then uh, next week we'll uh, we'll finish this this game probably. I would imagine I think this I've got about probably an hour and a half left or something like that. Uh, this Sunday we're gonna continue with our Devil May Cry live streams. It's gonna be part three of that. 
and then schedule for next week. Yes. We got Monday, um, Dead Rising, part three of our of, of our journey for that. And Tuesday, we got to continue with the zombie theme, and we're going to have uh, Resident Evil, Triple Trailer Tuesday. Uh, we're checking out Resident Evil 2 Remake, 4 Remake, and then the DLC for Resident Evil 8 Village. Uh, Thursday, we're doing some more Left 4 Dead, uh, Why You Wouldn't Survive a Left 4 Dead Zombie Apocalypse. And we get into um, it. By Wow Such Gaming. And uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. We're going back to Five Nights at Freddy's because the last Five Nights at Freddy's video we saw was kind of crazy and like wasn't really <laughs> spooky. So we're going to a spooky one. We're doing the interviews by J-Gems, um, which, yeah. Those were those were spooky. A wild ride. And then Friday, uh, I, usually I forget Thursday, and this time I, I think I forgot Friday. Um, no, Friday, Darkstalkers. Friday we're doing Darkstalkers character draft, checking out the trailers for Darkstalkers uh, Resurrection, the character trailers for that, um, and that's going to tie into a death battle we're doing on the other channel with uh, John Talbane versus Saberwolf. And if you haven't checked out our Instagram, our current death battle that is polling on our Instagram stories is Count Dracula versus Vlad the Impaler. Mm -hmm. so, cast your votes. Yeah. Um, I don't know who said it, but somebody in there was like, okay, guys, exhale and unclench the cheeks. And yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, after the first night that we played this, and I had a jump scare in like the first few minutes. Yeah. Like, heart race, cheeks clenched, breath is held. Pretty much every Friday night now. <laughs> but after the last uh, stream, she was like, you know, you were saying how you, like, the next day, you're like, I can't wait to play it. <laughs> I, I, it it's true. I was like, oh, I want to get back to it so bad. Um, and so I've been waiting all week for it. This was very satisfying, and it's been really hard to wait until next week. What's been cool about this is that, like, you know, a lot of times you think a character has died, and then they they haven't, but, like, you still get that, like, that, like feeling in it. Yeah. And, like, the... The intensity in this one is just is amped up than it was in the quarry. Um, well, and like I said last, I, th I think I said this last Friday when we played. It's I get more jump scares out of this than I do most scary movies now because scary movies have kind of started to fall into different formulas based on mm -hmm. the type of scary movie that it is. Where you're like, I can predict what's going to happen. I mean, it's kind of like uh, Sydney says in Scream. It's some big breasted girl running up the stairs when yeah. she's running out the front door. Uh, but with this, because everything, every choice you make then has a ripple effect and, and it does change the outcome of, of future possibilities, um, you really don't know what to predict. Yeah. Which makes it scarier and much more fun. <laughs> um, uh, you just said, that's, that just means you need to stream more days. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's a uh, suggestion for some... Some Dead Space stuff. Uh, we might have some Dead Space stuff up there. Um, I do think that uh, having seen this and like now like the Wendigos in this, and then the quarry with what like happened in the quarry, as far as like what the like monsters were in that one, I'm a little, I'm a little just like disappointed that they kind of like kind of almost did like a similar thing with the quarry. Like there was there there are a lot of like similarities. Yeah. With the quarry and, and until dawn, I mean. There was like the, the characters that you like think are like are are evil, like like the, you think think the pyro pyro guy is evil and he's not. And you think like the hunters are evil and they're like kind of not, you know. And, and they're all, like both like hunting different things. Like I don't know. So like there was a little bit of similarities there. So I think that you know, I mean this came first obviously. So like you know, and this is better. But I think the quarry they could have done something a little bit different. It's interesting because I think part of what I I would say maybe is is disappointing about the quarry compared to Until Dawn is they really do come out with a supernatural like right out of the gate. Um, whereas with this, you you don't necessarily like it, it, the first few chapters are a bit of a mystery what kind of horror yeah. story you're in, um, which makes it more fun because it's not again it doesn't then fall into that formula it's not as predictable. Um, Sorry, our dog is whining. <laughs> She's also about to try and knock over the whole set. <laughs> um, shh. It's okay, Zoe. Um, but I think like what I what I really like about Until Dawn is by the time they got to the whole supernatural element, we'd been in a psycho movie, we'd been in a scream style movie, like we'd gone through so many different kind of genres and scares. That by the time we got to Supernatural, I was like, okay, I'll buy into this too. 
Like you've taken me on such a great ride so far. I'm all in. Yeah. Um, whereas the Corey was like, okay, we're going to tell you about werewolves and you just have to suspend your disbelief. And you're like, I mean, like, okay, I can buy it. But like it didn't. Yeah, no, I, I, you know I think I mean? that's true. Yeah. Um, also, I've seen a lot of people talk about how we need to do a, a death compilation reaction for this specifically after or we're done with it. Um, yeah, this one. And I mean, I was very close I'm to letting to rescue her, uh, exactly. Emily fall into that wood chipper. Oh, and God. just like, <laughs> I mean, I, I initially, I, I missed the first, uh, like, I thought she was dead no matter what. And I thought there's nothing I could do to save her. I'm like, oh, I chose, I chose poorly. <laughs> um, but then I didn't mean to actually miss the quick time event and I did. And then the next quick time event came up to save her and I was like, ah, I, I'll do it. I'll try to save her if I can. Um, but yeah, so I mean, the, her, her Hers were good. Um, yeah, I also saw, uh, also shout out to uh, Vivian Nightlight. I saw there were some problems in the, in the chat earlier with, uh, with someone on the, on the stream and um, you all both handled it great. I didn't actually even see what was going on. I just saw like kind of like your handling of it and everything like that. And that's why you all do such a great job. I think you give the benefit of the doubt to people. And I think that you really like, you know, try not to, you know, mute people or, you know, Yep. Or, or, you know, stop them from, from, from chatting and everything like that. But, uh, you know, obviously you gotta, you know, you, we trust your judgment. And I just want to say y'all are doing a great job and we really appreciate it. So. I'm giving you spirit finger praise because I don't want to clap right beneath the mic. I feel like that would be just mean to everybody. So yeah. <laughs> spirit fingers instead because you're awesome. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, you know, that always, that always helps and we really appreciate that. Um, yeah, and I saw like, you know, in the chat, everyone, you know, Said you were doing a good job as well, so that was that that was really good. And so silent clapping. Yeah, really, really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, other than that, thanks everybody. Um, this was really fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And for those of you watching it uh, not live, hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, I'm just really curious. Are these developers? I mean, I know the quarry is really recent, so probably nothing's been said. But if anybody does know the de developers working on another game like within because they seem to be going on a theme here yeah let us know because i mean at least from from the until dawn side of things they're really freaking good and the quarry like we knock on it because comparatively it's not a fair comparison but the quarry was still fun no no, no. I, and i actually still want to play the, i want to play the quarry again um to fix our ending yeah to fix our fix, fix our ending um oh they're making the final game of the dark pictures anthology okay it's called the devil in me oh so, so that's the one about the devil in the white city okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so that so they do all the the dark pictures anthology is the same one as like they did until dawn and so well so does that mean that like man of medan and and all those other ones we saw would play like this or is it the, there i mean i don't know why for some reason i was like it feels like until dawn and the quarry are like feature-length films and the dark anthology that we saw are like little shorts but is that just a false impression i got from the trailers no i think i, I think you're right i think they are like shorter um from what i've heard the gameplay is shorter in those in those ones okay. um so i think they're all supposed to be like yeah i don't know but okay um you're right Beth. so yeah that's what that's what they are thanks nightlight okay. <laughs> she 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 got it right got she knows it, right. it. she knows it <laughs> Um, yeah, so, and hopefully this, uh, this Sunday we'll test it out, uh, as far as our new stream setup and everything, make sure everything's smoother as far as the stream goes. Hopefully there won't be so many drop frames and so much lag, uh, just with the crazy action that happens in, hey, we just get so crazy cry. with the fighting. Yeah, we'll see. Um, all right then. Have a great weekend, everyone. Um, stay safe out there as we get closer and closer to Halloween. And yeah, we'll hopefully see as many of you as possible on Sunday. Yeah, for sure. Bye, everybody. Have a good Have night. Have a good night. Mm. Pineapple. What about pineapples? Ooh, pineapples are awesome. They already copyrighted some new titles for Dark Anthology, so we're getting more. Oh, nice. Oh, sweet. Let me see.